Welcome in the Mass Media Group is California Capital's premier YouTube channel focused on reparations, dedicated to political advocacy and apologetically aimed at shining a spotlight on our righteous justice claim for reparations. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Smith, Manny Smith for governor. Uh, thank you to ETM Media uh, for coming out, the true uh, new black media. Uh, they're the only people that came out to cover my trial, uh, to cover what I'm going through, uh, dealing with uh, faulty police. Um, so uh, we ask me whatever you like, brother. I'm, I'm here for it all. I'm an open book, and I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Oh, fam, okay, you want to tell the family a little bit about your history, you know, who you are? And so forth, your family? Oh, yeah, sure, I can get into that. Uh, my mother is Dr. Betty Jo Smith, the first black woman doctor at Stanford. Uh, she cured cancer, so there is a cure for cancer. I don't mean that facetiously. Um, she actually has uh, proven cancer methods that uh, she cured cancer. Basically, it's on Stanford's books, um, but that's uh, neither here nor there for this, for, for what we're doing now. But, um, you know, uh, my father was a military hero. Um, you know, uh, I graduated uh, from Morehouse University, Ivy League of Black Colleges. Um, I went to uh, also went to DePaul University in Chicago, walked on for basketball, played for the legendary coach Joey Meyer, um, lived in Baltimore for a while, uh, bought my first house in Atlanta. Uh, I've been all over the world, walked uh, Liberia alone a couple years ago. Uh, with nothing but a backpack and a passport and made numerous friends and connections over there. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what to say about me as far as those things, but um, I'm never good at, you know, tooting my own horn, I guess, but I try to be a stand-up guy. Um, well, my mother's from Florida, so uh, she... Um, I just showed uh, Kim the pictures of my grandmother, uh, who was Nanny Mae Johnson, um, who raised uh, uh, six children and uh, one boy. Most of them were girls. Uh, my Aunt Mary was the first black woman bail bondsman, bondswoman in uh, Florida and uh, a little, little county called Dade County. Uh, she got very rich from that early on, and uh, so she was the business opportunity entrepreneur of the family she taught my mother a lot of things my mother always gives her respect for the things she taught my mother um and then uh from there you know i've got uh, a couple aunts that are still living that uh, are also in florida um georgia and one is in new york and um then there's my mother who was the first black woman surgeon at stanford as i already said um and uh Nanny Mae Johnson raised her kids, uh, you know, without a high school education. I think it might have been fifth grade education, what she had, but she had eternal wisdom and knowledge. Uh, my father, uh, my grandfather, actually, uh, uh, the story they told my mother was that uh, he, he a tractor fell on him. 
I don't believe that myself. I believe uh, the police killed him. When I got into more discussion with my mother about the things he used to do, she said he used to always go hang out on Friday and Saturday nights, you know, and he used to uh, go amongst the fellas and talk about revolution, how we were going to get out of this stuff and, you know, what they needed to do. And he'd come and bring his paycheck home to his mom, to, to Nanny Mae on Friday, uh, keep about 15 cents. 15 cents was a little bit of money back then. And he'd go out and have a drink with the fellas, shoot some pool, and put on his finest zoot suit. So I remember those stories. And I think it was from that organizing with the brothers that, you know, uh, those, those people just killed him, you know, because he had been a tractor driver for years. It wasn't like he was first on the job, you know. And uh, they say he hit a root and it flipped over on him. But I, I never believe that story. I believe, I believe uh, you know, people back in that day killed him. And my mom was probably too young, and they told her what she wanted to hear. Um but uh, other than that, uh, yeah, my father's from Arkansas, and uh, my great, uh, I got roots in Arkansas. My great grandfather, uh, my grandfather, all from Arkansas. Um, you know, interesting story. My triple great grandfather actually uh, got on the boat to go back to Liberia. He's the one that inspired me to make the trip there. Um, you know, they did really well for themselves at that time. You know, he bought seven houses. I actually still get a paycheck from my great grandfather um you know uh for uh brine leasing and things like that he's got an arkansas for lumber he was a really smart guy don't know how he did it i want to be more like him uh you know as far as uh leaving something for the youth in the future um because it means a lot when those checks come i say how does how did he even know i'd be here you know and how, how did he plan for that and so i appreciate that um my parents got here uh basically my mother um it's a funny story, actually. And my mother said she saw a man walking down the street with half a leg, which is, you know, ironic when I talk about you now. And I'm sitting here with my leg in a boot. And, it, you know, it was a half a leg at once. Uh, but, uh, you know, she said she saw a man when she was a little girl walking down the street um, with half a leg and he no one would help him and he couldn't get doctor help. And she decided I'm going to become a doctor. And so uh, she she uh, she went to school and she had all black teachers and uh, she went to school and, you know, she studied hard and she was a genius. She graduated uh, high school at 15 years old. Uh, from there, she went to Tennessee Fisk University. That's right. Fisk University. And then to Meharry Medical College, all black teachers all along the way. And, uh, you know, highest in her class, honors, things like that. And, uh, you know, um, Went to St. Louis, I believe, to do her residency in St. Louis. Um, finished her schooling in St. Louis. I know she went up to New York and did those things. Ultimately, got a job in the city, San Francisco. Um, my father was a military man. He had moved out to California. They were in St. Louis together, off and on, you know, both trying to make things work. That was when, you know, we had to travel to get a job. That's when, you know, and it wasn't just traveling a couple hours. It might be traveling some states to get a job and make sure you could take care of things. And so they met up in St. Louis and, uh, you know, did their thing there. Both uh, my father was actually after the military, he became a, 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 what do you call it? A lab, a laboratory tech. So he was the person that cultured the blood. If anyone knows what that means, which means when your blood go before your the doctor can get your blood, when a nurse takes your blood, she takes it to the lab tech and he analyzes the blood, gives the doctor the results so the doctor can then figure out a treatment. My father was that guy right there that analyzed your blood, uh, looking into the, you know, the very soul of the nucleus of a person, I like to say. Um, and like I said, they went to St. Louis, came back to San Francisco. Uh, my father came here first, uh, started playing uh, uh, pro-am golf. Uh, he, was, he was a great golfer. Actually, he was uh, friends with Tiger Woods' dad, Earl Woods, uh, which had me playing golf with Tiger when I was young. Um, what else do you want to know? Uh, the point being is that uh, ultimately they, can't, they, they couldn't buy a house in the city. Uh, they decided they wanted to rent to own up there in the city, but uh, they wouldn't allow them to lease to own. My father was always serious about never renting and leasing to own at minimum. And so they found a spot down here. People, they were trying to get people from the city to come down to East Palo Alto to find a home. My parents got down into that uh, 
uh, organization that came to East Palo Alto, knowing that East Palo Alto had a pool. Um, and so my father worked kind of an angle where he said, listen, yeah, we, we love these houses and everything, but we want something with a pool. And so he was the first person to actually be able to uh, get us through redlining and get us across the freeway um, to this side of Bay Road. Um, kind of kind of long-winded, but we got there. 